Oh, oh, something grabbed my lure. Hello everyone, this is Vikazi with you. Today I'm testing the handing M1. I pair it with a Mifine Ineffable. And today I'll be testing this very very cheap reel and I have high expectations for it because in paper this is the best sub $20 reel that you can get on Aliexpress so without further ado I'm gonna start fishing I have a cheeky lure in here it's a cricket because I don't know if you can see I'm already on my t-shirt last week we had snow on some high points in my area and today on my t-shirt so the conditions today we have crystal clear water and very very warm weather that's why I pull off the cricket and the cricket doesn't run that bad so i picked it up and went on some more moving waters even the waterfall but with no luck and i just quit the cricket and swap for something else so i'm just going with a spro uh, mini jointed ki the ikiru from spro which is a jointed crank Uh, let's see if something bites again beginning of the day not very good not very good indeed as I needed to move locations I went on the bridge and finally settled on the water pipe where I still was using the Ikiro from Spro I let it drift as usual and I was trying to snatch the chubs that are near the log. First bite. No. Is something? Probably trash. It was not trash and I knew it. So I decided to give it a second go and let my lure drift and push it exactly through the same spot to see if the fish was still there. Oh, something grabbed my lure. Don't go there. Don't go there. This thing is about to get real because I'm standing up. Am I snagged? Probably. Let it get a bit of line. I'm feeding line to the fish to see if it unsnags itself and i saw him going out of the weeds or roots but as soon as i pull it he snags himself again so i will try it a couple more times until i can get it free i can see it but it's still snagged So he is well hooked. Let him cook. Let him cook now. Let him cook. I said, let him cook. Yeah, it's on hook. Actually, the meme edit was just because I said unhooked instead of snagged or maybe it's just a stick (sighs) 
Jesus, is it fall hooked? It's like I'm dragging a dead body. Nah, don't ask me why I knew it. No. <sighs> Very heavy. Don't. I'm having a very difficult time to reach. I already have my net. Done. So these are the types of smart asses that always snag themselves. It's very, very fat. Stop. Why am I struggling so much today? He's gonna bury the trebles. So much. Stop trashing. It doesn't have to be that way. Just, just cooperate. It's so fat. Look at the head on this guy. Right on the corner of the mouth. Stop. 35. <sighs> so around 35 centimeters the reel had no problems dealing with it I had to cut the drag because I know it wouldn't go anywhere even uh, this is why you have to you cannot feed the drag in here if they will snag themselves to get out of hooks and they will just disappear in the shadow now i'm having like i don't know maybe one hour take this shit out i'll see you guys in a bit so this is the end result of me taking the trebles out of the the net i just had to mangle the my lure which means i need a new net one with bigger holes and rubberized. That didn't sound good. Whoop. Let's see if anything else wants to bite in here. Uh, and if you ask yourself why I'm fishing here on the pipe, there's one good answer, which is I just caught a fish. The other answer is because in here there's some shade and the sun is just killing me but you want to know about the reel the reel is very very smooth and up until now it's a winner other than the crappy knob the foam knob that I really don't like I have no complaints it's a perfectly good reel for ultralight fishing other than the weight but you have to cut costs somewhere and this is 200 grams it's around the same as the sienna 
but this is, is 15, 14 dollars on a choice day and you don't get that money, that value with a Sienna. Hopefully, um, Shimano will revamp the lower end tiers on the on their reels and their lineup and we'll have something new because they just getting too dated and too crappy for the the price point so now i'm just going after the second fish i'm ooh, 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 ooh. I'm seeing some activity there. I don't know if it's near my lure. I'm fishing only with the back treble now because the other one is kaput. In a funny way, it looks like the guts of the fish just went out because it's a red hook and is mangled. It's the second fish that I caught with this lure. I think I will let it drift one more time because the bill it's a bit wide and when you have that, that type of wide wide, uh, wide bill the in this type of current you will um, run a lot of the times uh, the the so what I'm trying to say before I had that brain fart, is that when you have wide bills on the crankbaits, they will tend to catch a lot of water. And on this current, that doesn't seem too much, but it's a bit of a strong current. Uh, it will tend to go on the sides. It's a good thing to trigger fish because they are always relating the bigger ones. They are hiding like on that log over there, that root system that root system over there, the bushes down a little bit and that is a good thing but it's also a bad thing because you will snag it now ah, today is such a nice day it's a shame that I have to go on to work on the afternoon I, th I don't think the bail auto closes which is not expected on this price point but let's try it oh it uh, actually it will auto close so nice we are on the last minutes of this session and today up until now and i don't think i will get another one i caught one fish very decent size chub it was 35 centimeters so I think I will be validating my title of most consistent angler I always catch one or two fish and I only catch one that it's 35 uh, between 33 and 37 centimeters so there's that and I was testing it's the first time I bring the handing M1 with me to the water and I had a blast with it, it's very very smooth, on its price point you cannot get as a smooth as a reel, maybe the Legacy. Uh, this reel features, even though I already talked about it on the unboxing video, uh, aluminium machine handle, it's a very very pretty one, and an aluminium spool, it, it has a lot of bearings, but it feels smooth. Also, you can get it for $15, which is also very smooth on your wallet, and it works. This one is 200 grams, it pairs very well the, with the Mifine Ineffable, the heavier one. Uh, this is the 3 to 11 grams, and I think I'll be keeping this combo together for my wading and for my creek exploring because it's a very very competent combo and I will give the Daiwa Revros a uh, rest so I think I snagged something but 
overall today was a good day and oh I catch something let me show you guys what I catch so look. crap plastic nice I can clear the creek so but I had a blast with the handing M1 and it's now it's my official recommendation if you are on the on the buying end of uh, ultralight reel just get this one the 500 size you will not regret it it's a working tool on ultralight it's not like bfs where you need a good reel to throw lower weights in this you can throw anything with this the line has no problems coming out of the reel um, everything is smooth the rail auto closes which was a doubt that i had when i bought it and i didn't test it on the unboxing and the other thing very importantly to ultralight the drag has a lot of adjustability so not like the other cheap reels where you don't get any adjustability or you think you are on uh, one setting of drag and you just break your line or you miss your fish because it's very inconsistent with that said i will see you guys on my next video and until then goodbye